So I wanted to make this video uh, about Arcam because uh, I don't see any reviews or any of that kind of stuff on the internet too much about, uh, sorry, any YouTube videos about uh, the Arcam stuff. Um, this is the AVR 600. It's kick ass. I used to have the 350 and this actually does make quite a bit of a difference. Uh, a lot more power, a lot cleaner and uh, one of the things they talk about is it uh, sounds very much like a tube amp. I can testify to that. It is amazing. Um, and just picked this up a couple days ago. It's the Arcam Blu-ray player. Again, I see nothing about reviews about this. That's the 100. Uh, I can tell you right now, the audio quality is fantastic. The picture is fantastic. Um, I went from a Panasonic uh, Blu-ray player to this at the 80 before. And you've seen the reviews on that. It's highly regarded. This kicks the shit out of it. So, um, it's the uh, Arcam CD73. Um, probably asking why do you have a CD player if you got a Blu-ray player but uh, before I got the Blu-ray player I picked up the RDAC and it's sitting right in the back there you can see some connections hooked up it's just sitting under the shelf uh, that's a phenomenal phenomenal piece um, it uh, does it does justice to what the reviews are saying that the, the sound quality is amazing it is um, very open very very clean PS3, obviously, running obviously the box there, the PBR box. It's an energy line for speakers I'm running right now. This is the AC300. It's an older uh, energy. You might notice that there's no sock on it. I actually cut it off. Uh, I wanted to open up the sound. Here I have the energy C6s, high black gloss. Um, very much a fan of these uh, of this line. Uh, I just love the sound compared to the newer energy. Um, over here, it's the other C6, um, and some DVDs sitting on the top. Running my bottom end is the Velodyne SPL 1200R, it's 1000 watts uh, uh, regular power and uh, 2000 watts dynamic power. Um, the sub, is say, they say it's rated at 23 hertz, uh, I can get it way lower than that, it's, it's amazing. I used to have the 215s from Del Velodyne, the 5000s, I had two of those, and honestly this thing goes lower and louder than those two together. And, uh, and uh, it's, just, it's just an amazing, amazing bass. And with the R-Cam all together with this, uh, I mean it just creates uh, just an amazing, amazing low end bass that's uh, very, very clean and is very hard to, to find in the room. It's just all around. For my surrounds, I'm running the uh, Energy RVSS uh, surround dipole. As you can see, my Jason mask under there is a bit of a horror fan. Um, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre picture there. Um, and then on this side here, got the other RSVSS again dipole I only am running 5.1 in this room this room is about 15 by 17 um, so it's more more than adequate for power um, and finally just picked this up actually a couple days ago as well it's a new 8000 series from uh, uh, Samsung plasma uh, it's amazing and again with the Arcam AVR 600 the video processor is amazing in it the blu-ray player that goes through is amazing and uh, obviously an amazing picture and uh, I mean I just I, I can't complain so Again, going back to the Arcam Blu-ray player, one of the main reasons why I wanted to put this video out is I haven't seen very many reviews at all about this player, um, but I can testify that it's amazing. Um, up here in Canada, they have a retailing at $15.99. I was able to pick it up for $1,300 plus, plus tax, so um, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of margin in these players so just wanted to let you guys know and uh, any questions or any comments I, I welcome them thanks guys